We found the strongest evidence to date of possible biological activity on an exoplanet. So the technique we used to determine the atmospheric composition of the planet is known as transit spectroscopy. What is happening is that you look at the planet as it transits in front of the host star. So the atmosphere of the planet, some of the starlight goes through the atmosphere of the planet before reaching the telescope. And the atmosphere, the molecules in the atmosphere absorb some of that starlight. So by looking at a differential measurement when the planet is in front of the star or when it isn't, you can extract how much absorption is happening in the planet's atmosphere. K218b is an exoplanet orbiting a red dwarf star about 124 light years away. It has a mass of about 8.6 Earth masses and a radius of about 2.6 Earth radii. And it orbits in the habitable zone of its host star, which means if you put an Earth-like planet at its location, we would think of it as habitable. So two years ago in 2023, we reported a very tentative inference of DMS uh, on this planet uh, with a different set of observations with a different instrument in the one to five micron range. But the evidence was very tentative. So we looked this time uh, at the planet again in a different wavelength range. And what we are finding is significantly stronger evidence at a three sigma level uh, for the presence of either DMS or DMDS or both. Now DMDS, like DMS, is also a strong and unique biomarker here on Earth and had also been predicted to be a biomarker on planets uh, with hydrogen-rich atmospheres. And that is what is new, is that there's a possibility of, of one or both of these molecules to be present in the atmosphere at a, a credible um, level of uh, significance. So while this is great uh, and evidence to keep looking. This is not enough to qualify it as a robust scientific discovery. For that, we need to reach the level of Phi Sigma. What does that mean? At Phi Sigma, you're talking about a, um, the chance of a fluke being about a part in a million. 